how, how do you become 14 again and write from that point of view um, without um, kind of winking or, um, hmm, um, or betraying that 14 year old um, with your cynicism or your, your whatever you have, your experience. Um, I, I think it, I think, yes, I think every time that you drop into a character that isn't you, um, that isn't your experience, uh, I think it's always, there's always challenge. But I, I think it is especially hard to be, to write in the heart of a young person, especially um, from a generation that is so removed from where you were at 14. So sometimes I think you have to think about what are the essentials um, and then make them um, more um, catered toward um, that particular character and what it is that's going on in their life. Um, I, I don't even begin to try to mimic uh, the speech patterns of uh, young people. Uh, it, it changes too fast. Um, it, um, I think it's hard. I, I just think it's very hard. And I, I think once I begin to like something in that young character or not like something in that character, then I have something that I can hold on to and that can help pull me through. I think, um, I think there is something in me that has not quite grown up yet that um, is still, um, looking out at the world, waiting for something to happen. Um, um, I, I do look up, I do look at things, I do notice things in the way that you would notice something if you're seeing it for the very first time. And I think that's the way that I am. I think that I am uh, can be delighted and surprised and intrigued by things and I am not afraid to show it. Uh, I mean, we, um, I think so much is wasted on cool and and being a certain fixed age or an expectation. You've got the rest of your life to be mature. <laughs> you know, uh, be silly and and enjoy um, enjoy whatever magic is in front of you because sooner or later you're, you're not going to look at leaves the same. That's too bad.